Uh, I think that's what's important about anything that you do. You know, you want to have a message that people can take when they leave the theater. And, you know, when we have a family action adventure movie, uh, we would love to have a message that's bringing people closer together and giving them a different understanding. I know you were talking about the yeah. message and why it was so powerful. Yeah, well. you know, and, and to add to what Kevin's saying, it's... Um, we wanted to obviously expand the Jumanji universe, have fun, create new characters, bring in new actors who people love, Aquafina, Danny DeVito, Danny Glover, um, a few others um, as a surprise. But uh, we also wanted to make sure that it had that fundamental thing that really made the first Jumanji super appealing to audiences around mm -hmm. the world. That fundamental thing is just is heart. And, you know, we got lucky in the first one we made some people laugh and I think we're gonna make some people laugh in this one and ultimately we're gonna have a lot of heart the best way to explain and even talk about it is just to to put the word excitement with it you know it was a uh, uh, an opportunity that I can say that we both were excited to have um, and after embarking on a journey of embracing the Danny's you know we found a lot of fun with each other you know with the material but that that yin and yang that you know is there between he and i uh got to go up to another level no pun intended um <laughs> and it's uh it's a good thing it's a it's a it's a good thing from a creative perspective but also just from a acting uh perspective as well it was a great opportunity speaking of acting when people see kevin crush his embodying Danny Glover. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he almost did it right there. They're going to love it. They are really going to love it. And it's really cool. So for people who haven't seen the movie yet, you know, a lot of people who have seen the movie already, all these early reactions and responses have been so, um, uh, really so um, positive, you mm -hmm. know, towards Kevin mm -hmm. and toward, which I'm so happy for, towards Jack. Too. By the way, everybody shines in this everybody. movie, which is great. A lot of times when you're marketing and promoting a movie, there's things that you have to say, but in this case, there's things that we want to say. You know, we want people to come out to the theater because it's a feel good, it's a feel good film. And it's for families, it's for friends, it's for brothers, sisters. I mean, you name it, uh, you can come and share and, and join an environment that will be filled with nothing but positivity, with a great message. Yeah, you know, and, and for people who enjoyed the first movie, Jumanji, I think, you know, what we're finding, fortunately, is they're walking out of the theater, the people who have seen the movie early and just saying, wow, this exceeded our expectations. Mm -hmm. and, our, and by the way, they're going in, expectations are high because the first one did pretty good yeah. um, and made a lot of people happy. So it's the kind of movie and also to just the size and the scope and scale and the spectacle and everything is um, uh, practical. All our, mm. the big, you know, from the, the deserts to the dunes where the first uh, Star Wars was shot. Mm -hmm. um, they're gonna edit that out. Uh, so everything was practical <laughs> from the deserts to the dunes to the Alberta Calgary snow capped mountains to the jungles. We went back to Hawaii. Uh, and it's the kind of movie you have to experience exactly. on a big screen. A, a treat to get a call to be in this movie because uh, you know we're we uh, we're excited by the cast and how much friendship there is in the cast and good, good uh, a good exciting movie. The movie did really well. It's really good to be part of that kind of franchise, you know, like they call it. But we uh, it, more than that, it was like uh, you know being accepted into a family. So we really dug it. Yeah, I did. We we had both had a great time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kevin, like like, you know, like the Rock, man. They they're you know they they're capable of of finding a way to make it work for them. And and so, whatever, with however, with with me, uh, I I I talked to Kevin on the phone once. He probably uncovered. He already had some Danielisms anyway. It, it is everybody. Nobody always has some, some from Murtaugh from. From color purple, I'm quoted those lines. I don't like more like I don't know what, and so uh, uh, so I, I think they he was very aware, aware of kind of how we wanted to go with you know go with it and everything else. He watched me. Uh, he he would study me. Uh, we, I'd turn up the burners a little bit mm -hmm. so that I could give him some more mm -hmm. you know gestures and like whatever and, and uh, you know 
go deeper into New Jersey. And uh, he, he followed me right down the, uh, that path. And so, uh, you know, I think he did a great job. I was very happy yeah. with it. And the thing about it is, like, well, you see the movie, you know, that uh, the idea of, it, you know, our presence in the, is felt throughout, which is, like, really a cool thing, you know. You yeah. feel when you, uh, we've both done movies where we're in bits and pieces here and there. But to have uh, us represented all the way, mm -hmm. you know, through mm -hmm. the picture is like really unique mm -hmm. in in Jumanji. We're seasoned at, at bickering. We know we know how to bicker. We can bicker. We both made our careers bickering. Once you do, you know, once you've bickered, we the bickerers yeah. from the from the yeah, beginning of bickering it's, time. Yeah, yeah, right. we, yeah. That's yeah. good. We, we had a, we fell right into it. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, you still can have you know, certain things, baggage that you carry for yeah. each other, whether it's, you know, yeah. uh, your heart on your sleeve or it's like, you know, uh, whatever kind of, you know, conflicts or things that you go through, you know, it's, it, it kind of works in, in, yeah. at all, in all ages. So I think we're, it, we're the personification in our, our um, in Jumanji, the next level, we're there, we're the, that that bit that when you get old and you have you know history things that something bothers you about somebody you know it's it's good to you know confront it and possibly resolve them yeah. yeah and, and you, i mean outside of your siblings who do you carry with you through life your mom and dad your yeah. grandparents if you got a chance to know them and everything else you know i i generally go to the movies like to see mm -hmm. all the first run movies that come out so uh -huh. I like them on the big screen. I grew up that way you know I mean I I, I do list, look at uh, you know uh, uh, television you, you know different uh, uh, services that I have to watch movies and revisit some of the old movies that I love uh, but um, the, the biggest kick I get is going out mm -hmm. and sitting in the dark theater and letting myself be swallowed up by and this movie Jumanji is like yeah. uh, one of the movies you perfect kind of you know where it's adventure and it's it's got all the like comedy and the you know and the heart so it's really good seen on a big screen and I think the other, other part of that is is that it's, it's a movie to be seen with an audience it's a big movie yeah. it is that you ought to get as much out of the audience response to the movie as you get from your own response to it. In fact, they, they're going to commingle in some sort of way. The audience response and your response and everything else. And I said, that's why it's fun to go to movies anyway, you know. You know. <laughs>